Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. The layer tools in Anime Studio Debut allow us to interact with the layers in our project file in a variety of different ways. This tutorial will outline each of the layer tools. So, here we go. The Transform Layer tool allows us to move, resize, and rotate layers that appear in our project files. In this example, I have one layer on my project file, and I currently have the Transform Layer tool selected. You'll notice a red box appears over the layer. If I take the Transform Layer tool and put it inside the box and hold down my left mouse button and move the mouse around, you can see I can move the layer. If I bring my cursor outside the box, as long as it's not touching one of the nine points and click down my mouse button and move the mouse around, you can see I rotate the layer. And finally, if I put my cursor on one of the nine points, I can resize the layer. Depending on where you put your cursor, either in one of the corners, on the left or right, or top and bottom, the resize function will change. So if I put my cursor on one of the corners, click and hold down my left mouse button and drag my mouse, I am resizing all dimensions of the layer. If I put my cursor on the left or right point, hold down the left mouse button and drag back and forth, I am adjusting the X properties of the layer. And finally, top or bottom, adjust the Y properties of the layer. The Set Origin tool allows us to set the origin of the selected layer. This directly affects the Transform Layer tool. As you can see, my origin is currently in the center of the object. So if I use the Transform Layer tool to, let's say, resize, you can see it resizes from the center. Now, if I take my Set Origin tool and take the origin by holding down my left mouse button and dragging, move it up here, and now take the Transform Layer tool, you can see it now resizes from the corner. The Follow Path tool allows us to create a path in which our layer will follow. You'll notice on my Layers panel that I have two layers, a Path layer and an Object layer. The Path layer simply has a curved line that I created with my Add Point tool. The object, of course, has the rectangle. So make sure that you're on the object layer, and then choose your follow path tool. Now click on the path that you created for your object to follow. The layer should snap onto the beginning of your line. And from here, if you click and hold down your left mouse button and drag along, you can have your object follow the path of the line. You can of course animate this out by paging through to your timeline and then moving it along. Now if you page through your timeline, you can see this motion take shape. The Vector Shape Selector allows us to select vector shapes no matter which layer we have currently selected. In this example, I have an oval and a rectangle, both of which are on two separate layers. I am currently on the oval layer, so traditionally, the oval is the only object I would be able to select. But with the Vector Shape Selector, I can come in and select the rectangle or the oval. And you'll notice that my layers are switching as I do this. And that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website. Thanks for watching. I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you next time.